Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Bork, and if you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below in the easy to use widget or up above on the easy to use widget or down below in the easy to use subscribe button, I should say. But let's get right into this video. It's just going to be on Canada routing another team after being Team Switzerland 12 to 1. They get one less goal versus Finland. As Sarah Filia uh, is still a star of the game, absolutely um, showing her presence on the ice from the get-go, having that beautiful backhanded goal that was absolutely ridiculous, and starting the scoring up with the first goal, and then Sarah Nurse absolutely responding with an absolute snipe. After that, where uh, that happened twice in this game, where then in the second period, in the second period, Philly Air scored, and Nurse Wire wanted to make it 4-1, to one, and they went back-to-back to, back to start the first and start the second period in order to put their team up 4-1, to one, is then Finland, of course, got the one goal later in the first period, uh, after it was already 2-0, 18-27 uh, into the first by Tuminen, as they were able to get one to avoid the shutout earlier than Switzerland was able to get their one uh, against Canada when they really routed them in that game. Uh, what I noticed from Team Canada, where, again, I'll say, it, like, <clears throat> the women's prelim and Women's hockey, I'm just getting into it. I don't know what it is in depth. Is some of the other stuff I've done videos on. It's just fun to do videos on, and I'm watching it anyway. So cool to put the videos out. But uh, from watching Team Canada, you can just apparently, uh, it's very apparent to tell that once they get past the first guy, it's curtain. It's done. They're going to find the pass. They're going to find the shot, and they're going to be able to uh, get it off. Um, and then on top of that, when they make such good skating ability plays, they even get the plays like the play that Stacy tried to get at the Sonia later in the game. That then uh, became a goal for Stacy, which was the 10 1 goal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, was a play that she did a really good job, Stacy did at getting around the defender and being able to have room in between her and the defender. But then it went off of a skate of Finland and couldn't even get over to Jill Sonia, Brendan Sonia, Lehigh Valley Phantom player, uh, sister. But it still worked because when you set up your play's great, and you make the great first play, obviously it leads to a much higher percentage and high octane chain on the second, and nobody this far between Switzerland and or Finland, Finland was the team, I would have gave a better chance than Switzerland to do so, was able to limit Team Canada enough, where it was as soon as they got going, it was completely open, the floodgate, and they're gone, and that's what it's been in these first two games for Canada versus Switzerland, and versus Finland. Uh, they just could not be stopped. They're absolutely sniping it. They're absolutely flying on the ice. And they were just finding all the right areas to go to, whether it was hitting the beautiful pass or it was just making the first move on a little jab move and then getting around the defender and having all the space in the world or what have you, or a beautiful backhand where you collect it like Philly Air did off of the skate of the Finnish player and then get it and then backhand it top shelf on an absolute beautiful play. Uh, Canada's absolutely soaring. I would say from their first two games, they are the hottest team in the tournament to start. I mean, 11-1, 12-1, yeah. Uh, Switzerland, people thought coming in, they would wrap them and have a good chance of killing them, but not by, I think, a 12-1 to degree. And then Finland, I thought this game, even though, again, I'm new to the women's hockey, but just from reading stuff on it, w would be closer to a 7-3, to, three, seven to like not an insanely close game, but at least that Japan-Denmark game where it was like, Six to two, seven to two, something like that. Not a full route, similar to the Switzerland one of eleven to one, but that's what it was. Uh, the Finns <clears throat> also let in a poor goal um, in this game, uh, where Canada was able to shoot the puck, and it went off of the goaltender's glove and in, and that's never obviously going to help you against Team Canada. So for Finland, I would have to give their performance um, like a C. C plus at best because they just really went down immediately, weren't able to have any answer. They got one goal in the uh, end of the first, but it kind of seemed like one of those, like it didn't seem like, usually when you score at the end of the first, uh, when I've said another game with hockey, no matter what it is, the World Juniors or NHL I'm talking about, it gives you that more momentum coming in the second. It didn't feel like that at all because then Philly Air and uh, <clears throat> Philly Air scored immediately in that second period, I should say. Um, as well right after that, and so did uh, Nurse, so it didn't really seem like that was a momentum-grabbing goal, it was more of a just shutout ending goal at that point, and then they just couldn't score for the rest of the game, where after that it was only 2-1, to one, and then this game became 11-1 to one in the next two periods, so that just goes to show you that Canada had the entire possession numbers, they had the entire just control of play, and had the entire control of the speed of play as well, where Finland could never really get a step on Canada. Canada was getting a step 
on Finland 95% of the time, and that is why they were able to come out with this route of an 11 to 1 win against Finland. I hope everybody has a great, safe, and pleasant day. And continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy to use widget. Hope you all have been enjoying the great hockey uh, already uh, over in the Olympics and continue to enjoy the games going forward. Stay safe out there, everybody, and please continue to subscribe down below and enjoy the rest of the Olympics plus the NHL All Star Weekend if you people that watch that as well. Peace out, everybody.